My name is Gabriel Lund. I'm working as a mixer, producer and sound designer from my studio, The Dome, here in central Stockholm. I've been mixing and making music since I was 15 years old. Uh, and I first started to mix in Dolby Atmos about a year ago. And after a few months I realized that I could actually work full time and first in Dolby Atmos. And keep within this format the whole process, even for the Stereo 2 track. What gets me up in the morning, I think, is the urge to try to evoke emotion through music and sound experiences. The best part is when you can actually lose yourself in the music and the story and forget that you actually listen to speakers or headphones and just be in this space that the artist has created. Through using this Dolby Atmos first approach and actually deriving your Stereo 2 track from the Atmos mix helps me create a way more immersive experience for the listener and helps me tap into certain positions that was never before possible with regular stereo. So compared to listening to regular stereo, this is a way more lifelike and organic experience, uh, which you can like be inside of the music instead of just listening to it. I try to envision my music as a film without picture. It's a storyline that goes throughout the whole album. I think the best description is envisioning the gang from Teletubbies, the child's TV show, standing in a high school gym opposite to the band 1975. And then they run towards each other and right before they collide, you just pause and that's basically how my music sounds. My upcoming album was created uh, through combining different bits and pieces of my life or like emotions that I've had or stories with friends and people. I think one of my favorite moments is when something goes from being very small to very large. And one of those things is in, in my album, uh, the track Tidskillnad. In the middle part there is uh, a way, like a part where you go under the Atlantic Sea. And that is so cool to just, like see how people react to like having, you know, a flood of water coming from the ceiling down and like covering you in this deep ocean. I think my whole album benefited from being mixed in Dolby Atmos and I actually think all music of all genres could get something out of being mixed in this format. By working in this developed workflow uh, and doing the stereo mix in the render also, I really think that it helped me with the creative process of making a mix. Uh, now you have actually a room where you can place the sound that you're working with. And this helps at least me to think about depth in a mix. Like where do I want something to be placed? Uh, should it be like behind you? And should it sound like it's behind you? Uh, or should it move? So it just makes me be more creative. And also I have the option to use the binaural render modes. So basically now I can use that to make something even more wide or like psychoacoustic. So it sounds like it comes from a speaker that you don't even have. You can forget that you're listening to the actual speakers in front of you. It just sounds like you're in this space. This could be the future of audio.